excited to be here. Let us know where you're joining us from as we get this party started. We're gonna give everyone a moment. Happy birthday to Kimi Lane. Yay! That was better than me singing it, just for the record here. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. We're pulling up your comments. So please jump on, say hi, let us know that you're found the leak because that's kind of the thing that takes a little bit of time. We're just so excited to connect with you guys and to celebrate with you 12 years here at Kiwi League. So while you guys are jumping on, please share with us um, when your journey started with Kiwi Lane. How long did ago did you connect with us? Whether that's a couple, you know, years or what year or how many years ago did you find Kiwi Lane? So let us know in the comments. I just would love to see and hear all that about it, um, you guys. So and then of course, hopefully everyone else in the community can connect with others in the community. Probably find common things, you know. Oh my gosh, I've been I've only known for a month or two as well, or maybe 12 years <laughs> as well. So, okay, thank you guys so much um, for joining us tonight. And anyone that might watch this later as well, thank you so much. And for connecting with us and just taking a moment out of your busy lives to hang out with us. We always enjoy um, getting a chance to connect with you guys. It makes us so happy. And of course, we've always enjoyed reflecting on the meaningful connections that we've made throughout the years as well. So, all right, well, um, we are going to let me kind of share what we're going to be covering. So um, there's a lot like my mind has been so crazy busy with 12 years, you know, milestone moments like this really get you reflecting on basically the overall journey, which is our past, where we are today, our future of Kiwi Lane, what that looks like. And we'll be sharing a little bit of each of those tonight. We'll also be sharing our winners from the creating challenges from the last 12 days. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited to share that. Those grand prizes were, just a reminder, 12 months of the Paper Crafting Kiwi Club kit subscription for free, a fun gift of goodies sent to you a value of $100, and um, the 50, a $50 gift certificate to spend online at kiwilane.com. So those are really fun prizes and we're excited to announce those winners. We will also be sharing some other fun news that I'm excited to share with you tonight. So lots and lots and lots to cover. So to start off, we are going to take a trip down memory lane for a moment. And I have asked the two other co-founders of Kiwi Lane, Debbie and Shiloh, to join me for a moment because this whole 12 year journey started with the three of us trying to create a solution for our own frustrations as scrapbooking scrapbooking creators and we wanted to take a moment to reflect on some of those those memories and just overall get to know each you guys get to know them and all the above so um shiloh debbie say hi hey everyone hi <laughs> um okay so although we don't all interact with the community on a daily basis i do want to let you guys know that um, we all each play an integral part of the company today. And Shiloh is on our product development team. Um, say hi again, Shy, so it bounces to you. Hey, everyone. Yeah, I everyone knows. <laughs> Debbie manages our support team and our programming, pro programming processes. Can you say hi, Deb? Hi. And I am also the CDO, but we are all co-founders and we started this company 12 years ago. All right. Now, before I jump into this little fun game that I have planned for you guys, <laughs> um, I just wanted to point out our lovely shirts. You guys lift up your, you guys, you're going to have to speak I for the video. Speak. I kind of think I wanted your color, Susan. It's pretty cute. I it is cute. Well, well <laughs> got one of each, I'll be honest. They're so uh, soft. And I just wanted to mention this before we get too deep into stuff because uh, you have one more day to order these shirts if you want. That closes tomorrow, at the end of tomorrow. So if you haven't had a chance or maybe you forgot and you would love it, I love it. It's a great reminder to myself that I'm a creator, but also to anyone that might read my shirt, you know, like in the grocery store, it's a good reminder to them as well that mm -hmm. they are too a creator. So, okay. So this is what I have planned <laughs> in a nutshell. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I found this lovely old vintage. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Okay. And so what it has on here is it has, have you ever share favorite things and name three? Now I did give them a warning of some of these topics, but we're going to spin it and then we're going to have you guys answer one of the questions. All right. Sounds okay. good. Here we go. Shiloh, I'm going to have you go first. Oh, fun. <laughs> Okay, I gotta get this, okay. and that's the trickiest thing about this in my hands. All right, just flick it. I know. <laughs> like I'm holding like a little pizza, like a pizza. <laughs> there it goes. Name three. Okay. Name three. Okay. Next question. Name three ways you have personally grown as a creator during your journey with Kiwi Lane. Okay, three ways that I've personally grown. Um, okay, so probably the first thing that comes to mind for me would be my confidence level with when it in regards to um, being a creator. Susan will attest to how slow I used to create anything. <laughs> you overthink a lot. A lot of things oh, overthink. <laughs> It was really, really bad. And, you know, I've always loved to create, but I will say I was really, really slow. And I really just, I didn't have any confidence in what I was wanting to put together. I was always scared of what it was going to look like. Um, so for me, that's a huge thing. So I just have so much more confidence when it comes to creating, to trying new things, um, and just being able to enjoy the creative experience that all comes into play and that's something that has definitely changed in my life since Kiwi. Um, so that would be probably number one for me. Um, number two, uh, for me, this would probably be talents and like new talents and abilities that I've gained over the last 12 years. When we, when we first started this, you know, I was just a stay at home mom. I'd never gone to college. Like I, you know, and I love being a mom, but like I had never really pushed myself out there to try anything in the business world or even just exploring other things. Like for me, like I do, you know, like, like Susan was saying, product design and uh, graphic work with paper and things like that. And those are all things that I have learned since choosing to be part of Kiwi and uh, this journey that we've been on. So, and, you know, and that extends even to like, I've, I'm better with people and just a lot of things. So I've gained a lot of new um, talents and abilities over the last 12 years. And I'm really, really grateful for them. Um, so this one's maybe kind of not as big a thing, but I was thinking about this when I was creating my last samples for Kiwi Club. And I... Um, have recently been pushing myself to start using more handwriting <laughs> on my journaling. And I've always hated to journal. Like, honestly, I went back a few years ago and I had to go back and try to put all the dates and stuff in because I hate my handwriting. I really, really hate it. But I recently, I've been trying to push myself to do better at journaling and um, just exploring that new um, end of things. And and it's getting better. It's it's not good so bad. Yeah, not being so harsh on yourself. I mean, yeah. yeah, I'm sure people are in the thing preaching away about commenting. I know everyone has their <laughs> or journaling. Everyone has their own opinions on it. But I I feel, yeah, I'm always like, you know, if I can print or do something else, I'm gonna do that. I'll keep my handwriting to like my personal journal. <laughs> like right. So well, and I've been trying to do it more because we have those fun little title cards in the Kiwi Club. So I'm like, you know, I a lot early Kiwi clubs, I would always try to like figure out how to journal on it with my computer, which it does work. But I'm like, lately, I'm like, I'm just, I'm just going to work on it with my own handwriting, try to improve my handwriting and try to improve my storytelling and things for future generations. So that's kind of like a new third thing. <laughs> I just had a thought as we are going through some of these questions, as we get started here, I would love for you guys to take the question yourself and answer them in the question or in the comments. So if you can think of three ways or one way or two ways, however that might come um, to your mind, there is no wrong answer of ways you have grown as a creator during your own journey with Kiwi Lane. Let us know in the comments. Okay, Deb, you're up. You ready? My hand keeps getting in the way when I spin this. Give it a good spin. Okay. Don't, don't. 
Ready. Uh, uh, favorite. I don't really like these off the top of my head things, Susan. It was kind of like, well, it was <laughs> I kind of gave you an idea. So it's between these and share category. So we're gonna go with favorite things. What? Okay, this is an easy one. Favorite. It's easy. I'm giving you an idea. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the favorite category is kind of easy. What is your favorite Kiwi Club kit so far? Ooh. Oh. Have I told you how much I love Kiwi Club? Yeah. I think it's because <laughs> how much I love Kiwi Club. <laughs> uh, me too. <laughs> I love Kiwi Club. I think it's because I um, I don't I'm not in on the development of it or the planning or I I don't see it till it arrives at my door. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to have um, scrapbooking club kits come. I loved them. I've loved it for years. So getting the Kiwi Club every month is my favorite thing. Now I need to tell you my favorite Kiwi Club. Okay, um, tell us your favorite Kiwi Club. I was trying to think about that. Well, sorry. But I, I, I have to say March, this last March. And it was the one, Shiloh, is that yours? <laughs> no, it's not, but I was thinking the same thing. I always <laughs> like that one. Grow where you're planted? Is that, that what it's I called? Know. Oh. I know it's the plants and it's got the beautiful uh, paper with one. the yeah. green. Oh, did you? Good job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, it, I only it just was a really table. good one. That one I did. <laughs> I love that kid because I love plants and flowers always have. I have plants all over my house. Um, I love flowers. I love anything that's growing like that. So when I opened that box up and saw that, I went, Oh my gosh, look at this is mine. This is perfect. This is what I love. The colors. And one of my favorite templates that I, I pull from all the time. And I, I use it on this last Kiwi Club that I was working on that you guys don't have yet. But it's that little house plant. And it's from mm. that kit. Just this little house plant. But it's so handy to just tuck in here, there, and everywhere. So thank you, Susan. It's my favorite team. It was a team effort. I know. Kyle, just for fun, really quickly, do you have a favorite? Well, that was kind You're of the, say one the same one. Oh, okay. You guys <laughs> know, I just, like, just for the record, they usually say the same thing. Just <laughs> mostly do. They're like synced. They're like synced. Okay. I'll give you another favorite one. So I actually have tons. Every month I'm like, oh, this one's so fun. Um, but another one that I really like was the scenic, scenic route. I, was that last year? Mm, no. Scenic, no. The travel yeah. one? The Overstock sold out on that one too. Yeah. yeah. That one was really fun. We do a lot of traveling. And so I really enjoyed that one. Oh, and I really liked the nautical one. Yeah. Man, I could pretty much love them all. I love, I surprisingly, the one that came to my forefront of my mind when we said, ask that question. Guys, hopefully you're saying it in the comments. I tried to pull it up. I'm going to enjoy reading back to yeah. the because my phone was being loud. They are. <laughs> yep, I see you. They're coming through. It's I really love the summer one too. Together, back in 2019. And I think oh. I, I, was, I was shocked how, like, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. And so I took that challenge and I just, that's why I think it's so embedded in my mind is because I wasn't quite sure. And then when I got into it, all the ideas and, inspiration just started to flood in and so it really just cemented in my mind I love that one so yeah that one's a great one okay it's me <laughs> I kind of I kind of get a cheat because I'm oh Susan don't even well, I'm gonna spin it spin still it. And I have to land on it okay spin spin share okay share a good one okay so the question I'm gonna go with on the share category is Share one of your favorite memories so far um, to do with Kiwi Lane. So like Kiwi Lane. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I would have to say that my, one of my favorite memories is when we were um, on the conference cruise with the creative partners. Oh, we danced and sang to Let's <laughs> Together. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on YouTube if you guys want to go check it out. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about that. <laughs> my favorite memories. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, I don't know. I got lots of fun ones. <laughs> what's one that you love? Really quickly. Oh, 
So what comes to mind, this just always comes to mind is back when we used to do the shows and we would have to pack all of our stuff into this little closet pod that rolls. It wasn't little, but it's like a closet. Yeah. It's like a cabinet, like a rolling cabinet. You know, it wasn't that big. It was probably what, like two foot by like five foot and then like yeah. six foot tall. Anyway, when we were learning how to pack this thing, I'm a pretty good packer. So I was like, you know, trying to figure it all out. But I remember this moment when we were like barely getting everything in and all the baskets are up there and Susan like is standing in front of it with her arms and her legs and we're like, hey, close the door. And she like, we like slide the door in and she kind of backs out. Yeah, that was always a fun moment. I just, I think about that memory and it just makes me laugh. It was a process. We got got that process down. Oh, we were so good by the end. We knew exactly where everything had to go in there. (laughs) <laughs> like it worked great that's awesome <laughs> okay back to you shy you ready oh yes okay we'll do a couple more all right it kind of spun but we're gonna go with it have you okay. ever because we haven't done that one yet have we ever? okay all right um have you ever uh, it's easy <laughs> <laughs> have you ever coordinated your family outfits to match your scrapbooking paper me ever do that i don't know yes of course i have <laughs> okay you guys gotta let us know in the comments oh my gosh yes, you have you know. let us know I, in the comments i think somebody should get a prize if they've never done that in their yes. shop <laughs> debbie have you well i started scrapbooking when my eighth child was born and uh, some I guess of them were already gone and so on so I don't think so. Do I get the prize? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who had the money to coordinate outfits? I didn't. I had a bunch of kids. I don't really coordinate. I just tell them like what they have to wear. Because well, you want- did when we just did that one for, for the kid. You made I me go outside by the tree. <laughs> you said everybody get on these colors. That's what you did, and that's what we did, Susan. Oh, so you just did it recently. Like everyone's got to wear yellow, green, or, yellow, or red. It's up to you, but you. <laughs> This is the palette. I have taken one step further where I've actually, I did know of a Kiwi Club kit was coming and I convinced David that we had to go to Disneyland because I needed <laughs> memory. <laughs> so it was like a win-win circumstance. I was like, I really need to use this. So we have to go to Disneyland. It's just what it could be. I need pictures, hon. Like, you know. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, Debbie, you ready? Oh, oh, my turn. Oh, no, who was that? Shiloh? Yeah. Yeah, I raised it last. All right. Ooh, share. Okay, share again. Um, All right, share how KiwiLand has helped you grow personally as a creator. Okay. Well, that immediately brings my mom to mind. I don't know how many of you grew up with an amazingly creative mother but I did she could do anything and she 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 could draw she could paint she sewed all of the things I couldn't do I have sewn I have sewn and mostly regretted it but I I did it because I felt like I should but um and but she could also do kind of all the crafts of her day I don't know if anyone's old enough but me to remember the little epoxy grapes and different fruits that they would make and put together in clusters for the center of their table. But my mom did that. She didn't macrame. She was so creative. And I grew up in that environment with her doing that and really seriously doubted that I had any creativity at all. I was more kind of a thinker and reader and so on. Um, So it was really fun when I first saw scrapbooking. way back in Kentucky, it's been a long time, but I immediately thought that is so cute. And no, I I can't do that. I I don't even know how I would begin. But by the time I moved back to Utah, everybody around me was scrapbooking. So I thought I will dive in and give this a try. But I still had trouble. Shallow says she, you know, she used to sketch out her layouts. And I had trouble. I I can't see them like some people we know can. I can't see it, Susan. I'm so sorry. (laughs) Shiloh sketched. Susan just saw it in her head. And I'm sitting there looking at paper and going, 
I don't want to cut it. I, I'm afraid I'm going to ruin that beautiful paper I just bought. I don't know what to do. So when we started with the Kiwi Lane products, developing those and creating those different templates and so on, it kind of opened up my creative abilities. That's the first step for me in being a creator. I hadn't had that experience before and I hadn't ever thought of myself as creative, but as I started scrapbooking with our Kiwi Lane templates and, and kind of the way we did it, the process we developed, um, I definitely felt that growing within me. And I, I don't know what I'd be without Kiwi Lane, sorry. It's been a part of my life for 12 years. I always get tearful. <laughs> I know, I know. But, uh, not tonight, not tonight, Susan. Not tonight. It's a birthday party. It. Kiwi Lane is what helped me become a recognized that I am a creator. And I'm not sure I would have done that without it. And I love that you re even reflected on that your mom was a creator and that you were um, inspired by her and, and, and that memory that now you can relate to her in some way. I can. I'm just paraphrasing here, but I love that. So, yep. awesome. Okay. I'm going to do one more spin here. Okay, have you ever? I'm going to pick an easy one. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> it's hard. Oh, is this for you? Here, yeah, this is yeah, it's for it's like a lot of easy ones for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have you ever, okay, stayed up past midnight creating? Yes. <laughs> yes. Raise your hand if you uh, are. Yes, yes. Many times. Wait, does 2 a.m. count or 3 a.m. or whatever? But even with work, creating creating things for the business, creating, but scrapbooking for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we won't keep you guys up too late tonight, so we'll kind of go on. But I just thought it would be fun to start with a little bit of fun game. So thank you guys so much for jumping on. I'm going to let you guys to jump off. And then, of course, we'll see in the comments. But thank you guys both for jumping on and sharing some of those things. Bye, Bye guys. Thanks to do that. Everybody have fun. We'll see you later. Okay. Um, we actually have, if you have not heard of the Kiwi Lane store, we have a great blog post. It's called Memory Lane. It was from our 10 year birthday celebration. And that's have a lot of the behind the stories and just different things. So um, I'll have uh, Sonia, our team member, put that in the comments and you guys can check that out when you get a moment. Um, but yes, love it. All right, guys. So I'm going to dive right on in. I have a lot of things I want to share with you guys tonight. Um, I really do love those two and they have been uh, great along the journey and we've learned so much and grown so much. And it's just, like I said, it's just always nice to reflect on those. Um, the, the idea, so just to kind of go down memory lane a little bit more, the idea for our very first line of products, which was designer templates that were made for the scrapbooking, which we kind of shared a little bit of that story was actually the result of the three of ours frustration with the process and the industry and just kind of the traditional way of scrapbooking where it was one picture at the time and and all of these things we so basically we saw a problem and was inspired to create a solution that really worked for us but it was when we first started sharing that that we've discovered discovered with others that we truly began to realize how much we all have in common as creators we all find joy in creating and having desire to do it more successfully and more often. And although there are times when creating comes more easily, a lot of the time we struggle with obstacles that slow us down or even stop us in our tracks. So as we've shared the designer templates in the play to create system with others over the years, we really discovered that our journey had been you know, affected by these same obstacles that their journey was um, affected by those. And what, uh, um, and then applying what we had come up with kind of kickstart their journey as a creator all over again. And so it was kind of nice to connect with other people because that was ultimately our experience. And we watched that light come into their eyes. We talk about that often, often. And, and again, we just connected through that experience and it fueled our desire to keep sharing and connecting with others, which is kind of where we started to create a business so that we can actually share it with others. So the last 12 years have been an incredible process of sharing and connecting and 
designing products and tools and techniques to, to kind of help each person we meet to progress on their journey as a creator. Now, I've used that word <laughs> um, a lot um, in the last couple of minutes that you can probably guess it's become an important part of us here at QE Lane. We've truly come to view each and every person as a creator, someone who is born with the desire and ability to create and has a limited potential for creativity. We truly believe this. But we also view our progress as creators as a journey of growth because this is what we've come to discover over the 12 years. Growth in our acceptance and understanding of what being a creator means, growth in our skills and our abilities as a creator, growth in our level of creative confidence, and growth in the sense of fulfillment that we feel when we create, and especially when we share those creations with others. So each person's journey is unique to them. That's another thing, just again, between me, Debbie and Shiloh, as we shared, it's, it's each one is so unique. Um, for one thing, even what we create might be different as well, right? It might be scrapbooking or card making or quilting or cake making or carpentry, I think of my dad or the key, you know, but the key is to find that creative avenue that you enjoy. And we've seen that in different creators that we've connected with over time. And we've seen it in our own journey here at Kiwi Lane. And it's been such a powerful and transformative experience for us to in our own lives. And so many of those that we've talked to have felt that same power of the play to create philosophy that we share here at Kiwi Lane and our overall mission as well. And as they have let themselves really sink into what Kiwi really is all about, they've been able to experience that. And I, I hope that you guys have been able to experience that in some level or another as well. And so overall, our goal and our passion since almost the first time we introduced others to a new way of growing as creators, um, it has been to share, share, share. We've used that word a lot. And so uh, kind of like what Shiloh was saying, we, we weren't business, like we don't have a business degree or anything, but the, the word that just kept coming back was just to, to keep sharing, to share, share, share. Um, so we did with as many people as we could to kind of open up the avenues that led to as many people as possible um, into Kiwi Lane. So we just tried different avenues to get um, as many people as we can to introduce them to Kiwi Lane and overall our philosophy and mission here. One of the things that makes um, Kiwi Lane so meaningful for us and the reason it has resonated hopefully with so many of you as well is that it is a place where creators just like you, including us here at Kiwi Lane as well, where we can share our, our ideas freely, where we can share encouragement and support and where we can share in the celebration of what we do and what we create. So I know for me, I've really appreciated the community and for all of you guys for sharing inside of the community and letting me be a part of those creations and to celebrate with you um, in those creations. And it is all of these things that are so wonderful and powerful and inspiring um, to help each of us overcome the things that might be stopping us in our own journey as a creator as well. And so I appreciate and I, Appreciate all of you guys for being present and, and sharing in the community. I know that I say this often, but I really truly mean it that you guys truly do inspire me. So I appreciate it. Um, our goal is always and continues to be <laughs> to reach out as to as many creators as possible and to invite them to take a turn into Kiwi Lane in their own journey. And because we believe we have a lot to to offer people, to help them grow and to develop them in their own journey. Our journey as a company, as I reflected on it, um, was you know, built by creators for creators and has taken different paths as, as we've tried to find the avenues that are inclusive and effective and true to our values here. As we have shared with you before over the years, that journey started in our basements and our garages and has progressed from there. It's way we went to Etsy shop and then to a small warehouse 
And then we started to share at expos and then into a direct sales program and currently into our one team program that involves our creative partners and which is one of the ways creators can partner with us to share KiwiLane with others. And you probably have heard us mention our one team model. I'm not sure we really formally like announced it in the community. We've been talking a lot with the creative partners, but ultimately it's a model of our own that we are actively creating, which really has not been done before. So this is something that we're kind of creating as we go. The avenues that already existed didn't really work completely for us. And so we began to take the pieces that did work for us and we started to create. We started to create a new path for our company moving forward. And we just wanna let you guys know that we are determined to continue developing the idea of a one team thinking because the most powerful way for us to provide the right products, the right atmosphere and a diversity of paths and styles to help each creator progress in their journey is together as one team. So the one team has become very powerful part of us and we hope you begin to feel that sense of unity all the way from the executive level of the company to the Kiwi crew that we have working here every day um, on all of the day-to-day -day task to the creative partners who partner with, with us and who have been patient with us through the process of creating an entirely new way of looking at things. And because our goal is so connected with as many people to connect with as many people as possible, we will continue to add avenues that will lead people to Kiwi Lane in ways that are true to our values as a company. With all that said, we are really excited for a new program we have been working on for a while that we are going to be launching here in a few days on September 1st. And that's what we consider call the savings program. So the saving program, let me throw a share thing up here so I can kind of give you a glimpse at it. Our savings program is specifically for customers who love Kiwi Lane and would like to earn a free product and, um, and product points for sharing it. The program is designed to encourage and reward you for sharing Kiwi Lane with others that you may know who might be, that might be interested in Kiwi Lane products or in developing themselves as a creator just like we shared some of our stories. Um, it is a process and we um, know that some of us need that nurturing along the way. And so that we can, well, it doesn't matter where they are or um, on their journey. So let me share. Here we go, sorry, double tasking here. So this is kind of a glimpse at the savings program. And um, like I mentioned, it's um, an opportunity to, to share Kiwi Lane with others. It, you, it's easy. We love easy and simple. It's one of our love languages. So, so it's really convenient that you can do it from anywhere at any time. And basically you can um, send Kiwi Lane, refer them to Kiwi Lane, treat your friends, not only to the joy and fulfillment that creating brings, but to saving 20% off their entire first order. So this is for new customers coming in and in return, um, uh, you will also be treated to 20% off your friend's order and product points to use on your next purchase. So we're going to be introducing a referral program and there is no limits on how many free products you can earn and product points by referring your friends and family to Kiwi Lane through the savings program. So we're super excited about this. We've been working on it for a while with our programmers and um, this will be launching and having this opportunity you know, it doesn't matter where you are. If you could be in a grocery store, whatever, and you can simply, if you hear someone saying, I'm not creative or things like that, you know, you can say, listen, tell them your story. I've been there, whatever that story might be on your personal journey with Kiwi Lane thus far and encourage them that um, they can join other community of creators and that we can help them along their own journey. So really thinking about, do you know someone that enjoys creating? Do you know someone that has the desire to create, but often says that they are not creative enough? Do you know someone that enjoys maybe scrapbooking or card making or DIY crafts, but could use a tool that helps simplify their creation process and enhances their creation at the same time? I'm just getting the wheel spin here. Do you know someone that you would like to share Kiwi Lane um, with so they become 
your partner in crime, <laughs> your partner in crime in creating? Um, do you want to help other creators connect to a community where they feel accepted, supported, and always have a meaningful sense of belonging? And that's what we're striving for here at Kiwi Lane. So that is exciting. We're super excited. We've been working on it for a while. Um, we've been sharing kind of um, milestones with the creative partners as we've gotten a little bit closer and just different things. Uh, but yes, that will be launching on September 1st. So for sure, keep an eye out in your inbox, in your emails, as we send more details in the coming week. We hope that you will, along with us, um, invite others to take a turn, little turn onto Kiwi Lane in the course of their own creator's journey. So, all right, another thing we have been working on, let me pull that up, is we've been working to send Part of our mission here is to, because every journey is unique, is to send the right message to the right person at the right time. Um, since again, each of our journey as creators are slightly different. And in order to effectively encourage and educate and support each creator um, along that journey, we want to personalize your experience with us and to meet your needs. And we're gonna do this by um, sharing ideas and tips and inspiration related to maybe products that you already own and what you enjoy creating with and maybe things that work with together or having those things um, customized to your needs and providing value to all creators by sending special offers related to products um, that work together with the things that you're interested in or maybe on your wish list. So we put together this survey and this is where I'm gonna ask for your guys' help, okay? So we have the survey and Sonia is gonna put it in the comments. And just so you guys are aware, um, the team did send an email out actually nine minutes ago. Um, so that will be in your inbox when we get done tonight, um, sharing of course the winners coming up and things like that. But um, this is in your inbox. And to help us serve you better, we have put together this survey. And let me give you a glimpse at what this survey looks like here. It's basically a checklist. <laughs> it's basically a checklist um, that you can go in and click yes or no to the products that you own. Okay, here, let me pull that up, right? And so you'll see here on the survey page, again, that link is in the comments and or in your inbox for all current customers of Kiwi Lane. And it's a simple, simple checklist. So it'll be one of the most easiest surveys that you've ever took, if you can call it a survey. And so by doing so, just so you guys know, we are um, going to be giving you if you complete the survey by September 1st, so a lot of dates coming up here on September 1st, we will um, email you a coupon to save 50% off of one item. So I just wanted to throw that out there while I had you guys with me because this is really gonna help in a lot of our um, efforts as we go forward and with the journey and things that. So um, with the new system and as we grow our team, our Kiwi crew to kind of really better serve each creator in the community. So go fill it out. You can use the checklist for anyone that might have the Kiwi Lane checklist and you can use that as a reference. Or of course, here's a little uh, download PDF reference that hopefully simplifies the process. But definitely go in, fill it out honestly and um, look through what the ones you got. On this first survey, we're just asking for borders, fun borders and tiny borders. So those are the categories and then click submit and then you'll be on your way to getting a 50% off one item um, that you can use in the Kiwi Lane shop. So that is something we've been busy, busy bees working on as well. So, um, okay. So does, hopefully that was all, like I said, check your inbox. We've been working on a lot. We're really excited about the future. And we're kind of setting up our platform to really help again to serve each creator along their own personal journey. Now, along with that is to encourage each of us to carve out time for creating and to put out there some fun creating challenges. And so I want to thank everyone, first off, for participating in the 12 days of creating challenges that we've had um, up to today, really. And um, so it, it's always fun to take that challenge. One, whether it's a challenge that kind of stretches us 
um, in what maybe our comfort zone is for creating and just kind of stepping out of the box a little, but also encouraging us to carve out that time um, in our everyday lives to do something, um, do some creating um, that we enjoy. And then of course, it's always an extra bonus to, to, um, that in that process, we feel satisfied and even accomplished with what we created. So I always love a good, a good challenge. So, all right, you guys ready for this? Our winners, I know you guys have been anxiously waiting for that. Okay, so our winners, um, I'm gonna start with the $50 gift certificate and the $50 gift certificate, drum roll, is Christy uh, Baltzell, Christy Baltzell. And we will be tagging you in these as well, just in case I, I didn't announce that right. Please make sure to email support at cumulane.com as well. I'll put that out there for any of the winners. So Christy, Christy congratulations. Um, I'm not sure if you're live or not, but if you are, congrats. We will be adding a $50 gift certificate to your online account and you can go enjoy. Thank you so much for participating in the challenges. Okay, our second winner for the Kiwi Lane gift basket, basically a value of just fun goodies being sent to you uh, for a value of $100 is Maureen Garcia. Maureen Garcia, congrats, Maureen. So exciting. It's always fun to get a package um, in the mail and just having that surprise, which is basically Kiwi Club every month, but it's so fun, so, so fun. Okay, and our final winner, which is 12 months uh, of the Paper Crafting Kiwi Club Kit. So the Paper Plus the Templates Kiwi Club Kit. And so for the next 12 months, um, for the next year, which is going to bring us right back to another birthday here at Kiwi Lane. Um, and that winner is Jennifer Harjo. Haro. I think it's silent. Haro. Jennifer Haro. You are the lucky winner. What fell down? I celebrate. <laughs> Jennifer Haro. Congrats. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited for you. So that is something that you can look forward to and um, enjoy over the next 12 months. So congrats again to all of those lucky winner and continue to share in the community. Um, as I was just sharing before, it really is uh, nice for us as creators to grow as we share, but in that process, inspiring other creators to, to go and to create or to um, the ideas and the inspiration in the ways that it flows. So we are really excited. I, I just can't thank you guys enough for joining me tonight to kind of reflect on Kiwi Lane, um, to share a little bit about what we do, why we do it. And um, we're just really excited about the future. And so I think in the description, we put cheers to many more years and really and we're super excited. We've learned a lot along the way and we'll continue to learn and to grow and to create um, because that's what we are as creators, right? So we do promise, and I, I just want to throw this out there, that we will continue working hard as we um, support and strengthen you on your creator's journey, because it is our mission. And our mission is to help every creator we meet progress on their journey as a creator by helping them to create from start to finish more successfully and more often, because that's really where you start um, strengthen what we refer to as the creator mindset. So these little challenges or making these little times, they really do add um, a lot of that strength and seeing that process of creation happen more frequently will also bleed over into other, to other aspects of your lives. And I've seen it over the, my own personal journey with Kiwi Lane for the 12 years. Um, we um, also want to encourage you to share your creations and also what you've learned about the creating process more freely with other creators so that they feel like they're not alone when they feel overwhelmed or um, maybe that they're not creative. And a lot of times you just kind of get, like I said, get through those emotions and, and get creating. And we definitely want to make time to celebrate what you and everyone and us create and join in that celebration with others. So celebrating each creation with you. 
And ultimately this matters to us because we believe and we've seen the effect over our own journey um, that creating things is one of the most beneficial things that we can do for our mental, for our emotional and for our physical health. And I'm not just saying that. I think, um, you know, I think one of the questions was to Shiloh and Debbie about how they've grown as a creator and they were talking about confidence and all of these other things and, and uh, that they believe that they're creative. And I, for me, you know, I remember back, I was questioning if, uh, if a hobby <laughs> was frivolous, was if, if it was something, you know, uh, I don't know, needed or necessary. And I really have come to learn that it's, it truly is beneficial in our lives. And I've seen that um, by me, myself, as a parent, I'm speaking as a mother now, um, sharing the importance of it and also giving myself permission also gives my children and those that I come in contact permissions as well to explore the, um, the creativity and what they enjoy to create as creators and just to strengthen their overall creator um, mindset along their own journey and accepting that it's a process along the way and not getting discouraged by the process. So in the end, um, I just wanna again say so much, thank you guys so much. It really has been an incredible 12 years and we feel so blessed that so many of your journeys have led you to turn onto a little street called Kiwi Lane, a bright and busy place where we hope you'll find products, tools and techniques that will help you grow as a creator and where you can connect with a community of creators just like you. And if you are new here, welcome. But whether new or not, we invite you to stay as long as you'd like to. We can't wait to see you and where in the community and where the next 12 years will take us. Thanks again for joining me tonight. I really do appreciate it. And um, we'll see you guys, like always, in the community. Take care, guys. Thanks again. Bye now. Congrats again to all the, win the winners, too. Oh, and go take that survey. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. All right. Bye now.